In this video, I'm going to show you how to add videos to frames in Canva. There are hundreds of brand new frames available in Canva and you can add videos to them. And I'm just going to show you the different options that you have with adding video. So I'm just going to go to create a design. Um, I'm going to go for my trusty Instagram post size. I love this just because it's a nice plain square. And I'm going to go over to Elements. And I'm going to type in Frames. So first of all, we need the frame that we're going to be adding the video into. There are absolutely loads and loads, especially all the brand new ones that Canva have recently added. There are so many different ones. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit because I want to show you the new letter frames. They are just here. And I'm going to show you um, a quick couple of ways of how to add videos to them. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm just going to spell S U, if I find an N, Sun. We're going to spell Sun. I'm highlighting the whole lot so I can reduce them in size to make it easier to um, spread them out. S U N, they're still quite big. So I'm going to click tidy to align them and then reduce the size because they are all one element at the moment. So these are exactly the same as any of the shapes on here and you can add video, images and colour to these. Um, I'm going to go over to my video section but you can actually upload your own videos into Canva as well. So you do have the option um, of being able to do that. I'm just going to use this one just as an example to show you. I've clicked on the video and before I do anything with it, I have some options at the top. I can cut the length of the video, which is brilliant. So I can either drag it in this side or I can drag it in this side and I can crop the video if it's too big. I can click done and then I can crop the size of the video as well. And I can flip the video, which is brilliant. And I can animate the video so I can make it do different things as it comes into the design. But what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to drag it into the S and then I'm going to double click Keep that back to the beginning I'm going to double click the actual video and I'm going to stretch it across my complete letters as you can see it's gone across all three letters I'm going to click the video again and drag it into the U, double click, and then resize it so it's the same size. And you can see underneath in the S, the hand, and I'm going to align it with the hand on top of each other. I'm going to do it with the third one. So it's click your video, drop it into your letter, double click on it and then make it the same size as the other two and again I'm going to align the hand so as you can now see it looks like the video one video stretched across three shapes this may not play properly but we'll just have a go slightly out of line because my internet's not great but you can have a video playing across multiple letters I would need to just realign a couple of these um, but it's a great fun thing to do so you can stretch the video out across your multiple letters and then when it plays they will all play at the same time so that's just a quick overview of adding videos into um, shapes into your frames and then just a, an extra one on how to stretch it across multiple 
shapes so that it looks like one video. I hope that has been of value to you today.